Welcome to Cam Tie Handmade. Today we're going to be working on a puff stitch that you see here on my swatch. Let's get started. I have here some simple uh, light blue yarn that I actually doubled up. I had made um, a sweater a while ago and I doubled up my yarn to make it a little bit thick. And I have a five millimeter hook here. So you can use whatever hook you want, whatever size uh, yarn you want. This is just for tutorial purposes. So just use what you're comfortable with. We're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going to go ahead and make our slip Let's go ahead. And we're going to start off with an uneven, an uneven number of stitches. And I'm going to chain 21. Okay. So now we have 21 stitches. And the reason we start off with an odd number of stitches is because we're going to skip that first stitch and when we're all said and done it'll be an even number of stitches i'm going to use like i did in this swatch that i showed you i'm going to use um half double crochets so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a row of half double crochets going all the way across and by the time you get to the end skip, skipping that first stitch you will have 20 uh half double crochets so let's go ahead and do that. Let's make sure that we skip that first stitch. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through all your loops. Yarn over, go into your next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn pull through all of your loops, and just continue on with that. If you don't know how to make a half double crochet, you can always go to uh, one of my tutorials that shows you how to make a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, etc. So let's continue on all the way to the end. Okay, so we now we have 20 half double crochets going all the way across. So our next step is to go ahead and begin our puff stitch. So I've already done a chain. I've chained one. I'm going to go ahead and turn my work. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip this first stitch. And the reason we're doing that is because as you go along, when you're making your puff stitches, because they're so wide, it's going to tend to kind of fold it a little bit, kind of bend it a little bit. So we're going to skip this first stitch just to keep it in a nice straight line. We're going to skip every other stitch as we go down. The slip stitch is slip stitch, excuse me. The puff stitch is pretty easy. It's mainly just going into the same stitch, looping around a couple of times until you get it the size that you want. You can loop three or four times or five or six times. It's up to you, depending on how big you want your puff to be. Today, I'm going to go with seven loops, and we're going to make our puff stitch with seven loops. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this first stitch, yarn over. Now, with your puff stitch, you your first loop on your hook counts as one so when you yarn over that's two loops you're going to skip that first stitch go into the next one yarn over pull through that gives you three loops on your hook one two three remember i'm using double yarn so i have to count two pieces of yarn as one so that's three we're going to yarn over again that counts as four loops Go into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through. That's going to give you five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going seven, so we need to do this one more time. We're going to yarn over. That makes it six. Go into that same stitch again. Yarn over, pull through. That makes it seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven yarn over pull through all of your loops and chain one that's our first puff stitch right there so we're going to go ahead and do the next one and again we're going to skip a stitch and go into the next stitch so remember that's your first loop yarn over that's loop two Skip this stitch, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, that gives you three. Yarn over again, that gives you four. Go into that stitch again, yarn over, pull through, that gives you five. 
yarn over again that's six go back into that space for the last time yarn over pull through that gives you seven one two three four five six seven yarn over again and pull through all of your loops and chain one. It makes it a little difficult for me because I'm using double yarn, so it's a little harder to get through, but it shouldn't be for you if you're just using one. But as I go along, it'll get a little bit better and I'll be able to do it a lot better and pull through a lot faster. So let's go ahead to our next stitch. Remember, we're gonna skip a stitch. You have one uh, loop on your hook already. You're gonna yarn over, that's two. Skip that stitch go into this next one yarn over pull through yarn over go in that stitch again and pull through yarn over for the last time pull through and that's seven and if you're not sure you can always stop and count your stitches just to make sure how many more times you need to go through that loop through that stitch let's go ahead and continue on skip this stitch yarn over skip that stitch Go into the next one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go through that next stitch again, and our last yarn over, which is going to make it seven, go through that seven, yarn over, pull through all of your loops. Now remember, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always hit that settings button right up at the top right hand corner and change uh, the speed that I'm going you can make it faster you can make it much much slower so that you can catch on So let's go ahead and chain one. We're going to do another one chain one We have one loop on our hook already yarn over Skip this stitch go into this next stitch yarn over pull through Yarn over go into that same stitch yarn over pull through and one more time yarn over pull through and then pull through all of your stitches. Ooh. Okay. So, so far I have one, two, three, four, five puff stitches in my row. I'm going to continue all the way across. And when I come back, I'll be at the end of this row. And I'll show you what to do for the next row. So we're back. And as you can see, I'm at the end of that row. And now we have nine puff stitches. So we started with 20 half double crochets on our bottom row. You know, we did our chain. Then we have our um, half double crochets. Half double crochets all the way across, which made it 20. And now we have nine puff stitches. And the reason it's nine, of course, is because we skipped a stitch in between each puff stitch. And we're at that last stitch, which is on the end. And this is going to make it 10. So let's go ahead and work that last stitch right here at the end. And you can't see it a little bit, but if you turn it over, remember what I said in the other videos, you see that V stitch there? That means that's another stitch. That's our last stitch. That is the loop that we have to go into because we're skipping this one here. Okay. We're skipping this one. So go ahead and yarn over. Go skip here. Go into that next one. You want to get all the way up under that V stitch. And so I have to do a little bit extra because I have two things of yarn, two strings of yarn go ahead and yarn over and pull through yarn over again and pull through uh come on yarn over pull through and our last yarn over yarn over pull through and chain one now the reason i did that is because i wanted to show you how you can avoid from having this last puff stitch all the way on the end unless you want it in that way but it looks great so we have our 10 puff stitches going from end to end and now i'm going to show you how to begin your next row so once you've done that puff stitch you go ahead and chain one which i've already done and turn your work so now we're going to go in between those puff stitches because we have to 
fill those gaps there. So we're going to go ahead and yarn over and go in between the first and the second puff stitch. So you're going to yarn over, go in, that's three. Yarn over again, go in again, that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over again, that makes it six. Go in, seven, yarn over and pull through. As you can see, it got a little easier for me to pull through all seven of those loops. So you're going to chain one and go ahead and move on to the next gap there. Yarn over, go into your next chain. I'm going to go a little slow. Pull through, yarn over, pull through. That gives you three loops. Go ahead and yarn over again. Go into that same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. And that gives you five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Yarn over again, go into that stitch for the last time, yarn over, pull through. That gives you seven loops, yarn over and pull through. This stitch is really great for like when you're using thick yarn, the puff stitches come out so nice and big and puffy. <laughs> so go ahead and chain one and let's go ahead and do that next one. Yarn over, go in one time, yarn over, pull through, that gives you three loops. Yarn over again, that gives you four. Go into that same stitch, this is five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over again and go in for the last time, yarn over, pull through. And pull through all of your stitches. And there's your puff stitch. When I come back, I'll be all the way at the end. I'm actually going to stop right before this last puff stitch. So we're back. And as you can see, we have nine puff stitches in this row here. It's supposed to be ten. We still have one more stitch to go ahead and do. You do not have to do your puff stitches like this in a row. You can do a row of puff stitches and then a row of double crochet or a row of single crochet and just do a pattern that way. Whereas every other row you will have a puff stitch. You can put five puff stitches and do the rest in, in half double crochets and make a pattern that way, which is kind of what I'm doing. I'm actually um, on this sweater that I'm making, I'm using a puff stitch and I put some half double crochets in between each puff. So they don't necessarily have to be close up to one another. They can be spread out in different parts of your sweater. You can make 50 rows and put one puff stitch and then make another 50 rows. So it's completely up to you. It's a very versatile stitch and it's a lot of fun to make, especially if you have more than one color. You can make each poof a different color, however you want to do it. So that, um, we're going to go ahead and finish off this last uh, puff stitch in this last row here. Of course, we're going to skip this ninth one here because we know we have to have 10 and there's a gap in between each so we're going to go ahead and go into that last stitch go ahead and yarn over remember the first loop on your hook counts as one go ahead and yarn over go into that last hole on the side yarn over pull through that gives you three yarn over that's four go into your loop again that's five yarn over pull through that's five yarn over one more time that's six and then go into that last stitch for the last time yarn over pull through that seven and then all the way through each of your loops and there is your puff stitch i think it is so cute and again, depending on where you put it, you don't necessarily have to have the entire row of puff stitch. Okay, so I went ahead and then added the last row of this swatch. And what I did was I put two double crochets in each space, adding up to 20 again, as we did when we first started. So now we have 20, 20 half double crochets all the way across going to be it for our video please remember to like and subscribe and comment as it helps my channel out a lot thank you for joining me today on learning the puff stitch 
Have a great day.